Hello and welcome back to Factorio. And I expanded our rocket fuel production here by uh, about two and a half times, maybe. It's uh, still not quite enough to use up all of my light oil. So I am going to have to flush these tanks once in a while. Uh, but I ran into another problem. Well, first, I'm, I'm using the um, rocket fuel for the train now, so that's using some of it, not very much, but uh, some of it at least. So some of it's getting used, but uh, we have a problem here with red wires. We need the constant combinators for the rocket fuel. Basically, my smelting is non-existent. You can see here, everything just disappears up until this point. There's hardly any plates at all. There's a little bit of iron, but the copper is dead. Uh, the yellow science re does require quite a bit of copper. For one of these components, was it the Express? Yeah, the 30 electronic circuits. Yeah, okay. So we got to do something about that. Yeah, it's like every five seconds we'll get one copper plate in here. And uh, these are all waiting for... Yeah, we're still waiting for lubricant. That is... Oh, that's always going to be a problem. Alright. Let's head back. I think we need to work on the smelting. First. If I get more copper... Then we can produce more rocket fuel. Because right now they're starting to stop. And that'll use up the light oil. Quicker. So let's see. Um, we're going to use the steel furnaces. Uh, let me grab some more. We're going to set up copper smelting. And let me find my car here. It's down here somewhere. So how far are we into the logistics research? 60%. So we got a little ways to go. Now I gotta try to navigate through here without smashing into anything. Whoa. Oh god. There we go. Thankfully, you can drive over undergrounders and splitters. Okay, there we go. Whew. So up here would be a good uh, smelting area, plenty of room. We can uh, bring the copper ore up there with a belt. And uh, there's room to bring in more ore by train, like right here. Actually, that's close enough that I could probably just belt it in. Yeah, sounds good. Car, uh, stop. Don't get lost. Oh, 
Okay, yeah, right here will be fine. Right up here. Oh, do I have any landfill? I don't. I don't like that little pond there. It's not really in my way, but it's, uh, it's triggering me. That's okay. Let's get the steel furnaces there and... I want 24 on each side. I suppose construction bots will be helpful here, but... I don't have a personal logistics RoboPort or a personal personal RoboPort was that it? Yeah. And I can't make one. I tried to make one. I looked into it. What does it take? It takes, it might take batteries, something that I can't make by hand. Yeah, batteries. Yeah, so we got to produce some batteries. I don't know if I need to mass produce them, but I do need them for quite a few things. Okay, uh, let's see. Yeah, that doesn't take up as much space as I thought it would. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think we'll do copper here and then iron over here. So we'll be close to this iron node. That's fine. Oh, I'm not going to have enough inserters. So this will be enough to give me one red belt, which is a good start. Uh, I'm going to want more, but uh, one red belt of copper plate and one red belt iron plate. That'll be that'll be enough for now. Oh, that ore patch. It looks so tiny when I walk up to it. Oh, it looked bigger. It looked bigger on um, on the mini-map here. I was like, wow, that's gigantic. No, not really. I might have to bring in some more ore. No, I could probably get a, a red belt out of this. Does it say how fast these mine? 0 0.5 per second. Oh, okay. So I need 60 or one red belt. Thirty in one direction, thirty in the other. Okay, I think that's about fifty. Uh forty. All right, let me head back and um, stock up on a few more things. Get rid of these cliffs. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I got power poles down. Uh, that should be... That's 60? Yes. 30 on one side, 30 on the other. Perfect. And we gotta bring that... Down here. And uh, splitting this. Should be pretty easy. Uh, coal on one side. And ore on the other. Yeah. I could just belt this coal up here, from here, or here. Doesn't matter. One point eight million, one point six million. Uh, let's use this up here. This isn't being used for anything else right now. Oh, I forgot my power poles. All right, we'll get that situation under control. So our research is at 87%. It's slowly moving up. I had to go back and flush the tanks again. I need to increase the tank capacity. So that I can flush more at once. Oh man, I don't like having these... I did it wrong. I don't like having these poles sticking out. Like this. I gotta redo this. I gotta start these poles. Right here. It's gonna trigger me again. And there go all my... Cliff explosives. Alright, I got 30 miners left. And I forgot to pick up Landfill. Darn. Gotta fill in this little bit right here. That's alright. I don't need to. Okay, that should be enough coal for the smelting. I don't need a whole lot. So, yeah, let's take...
Take some of that there coal, and we ran out of belts. Oh, I just need enough to finish this. Come on. I can do it. Almost there. There we go. Okay, now to actually get power here. And that does it. The coal is coming. The iron should be on its way. Or, oh, sorry. Copper. Looks like I'm missing a power pole there. And that should, should wind up saturating a, a red belt. I think it will, yeah. How is our power? It's not great. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to work on power soon. All these miners are taking up a lot of power. Um, yeah, we're going to have to expand this. I really don't have a lot of uh, steam engines. I'm going to have to like make a whole nother row here. I got to get a radar in there so I can see what's going on. Okay, we're going to take this. All the way. Down here. Get rid of this. We'll still need the ore on on the uh, on the bus here. Okay, yeah, I'll I'll clean this up later on my own. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll use this patch for the raw ore, which we'll just put on the bus. It's being used for a few things. Not much, really, but it is used for uh, copper cables. Now the task becomes, whoops, uh, replacing all of these belts with red belts. that that 
belt. There it is. Okay, I think that's uh, that's all good. I don't think that's going to be enough. But it's a lot better than it was. I'll have to upgrade it to blue. Or add another copper belt. That's also a possibility. But this will be at least twice as much as before. Um, I think more. I don't think I even had one yellow belt. Of uh, plates on the bus. Okay, I gotta make more of these. I'm using steam engines for something, aren't I? Something with production science packs? Substation. No, not substation. Gate? No. Uh, there was something that required steam engines. I don't remember what it was. Low density structures. Maybe. Something that I was making a few episodes ago. I'm just wondering if I... Alright, I'll just make them by hand. It's fine. Just, I, I think I'm putting him in a box somewhere. Just can't remember where. I do have boilers in a box. There we go. Grab those sticks. I'm just worried about my power running out once uh, more machines are running full blast it's gonna eat up a ton of power I think to do a lot of this off camera here. I should be automating these. Yeah, I gotta figure out where I'm making them. More sticks. It's always sticks. You know what would be great is if you could uh, pack up sticks into crates move them move them around uh, more efficiently pack them up 100 at a time oh I love that Okay. Oh, I need one more. All 
right, one, two. Three, four, five, six. And uh, this isn't going to be a whole lot of extra power. I'm going to add some more of this. Uh, probably just keep making them until we got... Yeah, just another... Until it matches however many this is. 32. Uh, 16 boilers. I think I can support 20 boilers on each side. That's how much the pumps can support. I could be wrong on that. Alright, they're connected up. Now we just need... Coal. Solid fuel would be great here. There's not really an efficient way of getting solid fuel other than just straight petroleum. I can't use these sulfuric acid recipes. That's kind of ridiculous. Okay, I gotta replace some of this with red belts. That one's dead. Alright, that's fine. I don't know that that's gonna fill up one red belt. I don't think so. It's more than one yellow belt. Uh, this coal over here plus this. I think that's more than one yellow belt. Ah, uh, maybe not. In any case, it's a lot more than we had. And we have a little bit more power. Um, so, yeah, I'll work on this later. Now, how's the copper doing. Alright, I'm gonna grab more... whoops. More belts, because I gotta do uh, iron next. Make more of those. I need these automation science packs to make red splitters. Yeah, so the copper is doing better. Nice and full here. Let's go down and empty this out. There we go. It's four times as big, our storage. Empty it all out. Okay. Did I leave my car up here? I think I did. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, let's uh, let's get more miners. Let's see if we can do the iron now. Okay, I think we can just... Yeah, we'll do the iron just right underneath here. That's fine. Gotta move my car. And you can see we're almost there. Logistic system, 95%. It might be worth making some production modules. Or the research. Six percent. Of course, there still is the matter of uh, making uh, these robo ports. Ah, oh, that's what I needed explosive cannon shells for. Oh man, they take a lot of iron, or copper, and a lot of iron. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh yeah, that's actually a lot more iron than copper. Uh, okay. Explosive cannon shell. Pistol, landmine, fast transport belt. Did I not research landmines? Yeah, we did. Okay. Rail signal repair pack. Ah, I can do that. That's fine. Shouldn't be a problem. And we can also do batteries so that I can get the personal robo port. But uh, those, once I get bots, uh, those bots are going to use up a lot of power. Because I'm going to want a lot of them. Just flying around all over the place. Okay, now for the iron ore, I'm not actually using a whole lot of iron plates. It's mostly, mostly the ore that I'm using, like directly to build things. I, I yeah, as a ingredient. The ore is more commonly used than the plates. So... Maybe we could just... We'll do okay with just this. This up here. Ah, oh, we finished it. Logistic system... Finished. 
Maybe we'll do fine with this. It's not going to be quite enough for a red belt, I think. I gotta get more landfill. Ah, shoot. using a whole lot of this ore for the ammo so I think we're okay with uh, siphoning some of it off for smelting There we go. It's beautiful. Hang on a minute. I messed up the coal. Whoops. I forgot to bring this down. There we go. Whoa. Okay. So for now, we'll use the existing or all of it. As uh, we'll just use it on the ore belt here. And I think later we'll use the ore that's coming in from the train here and smelt that if we need to. Okay, so let's. Where, where am I going to bring it? Right down here? Alright, let's cut that off. I like having these undergrounds uh, at the maximum, set at the maximum distance to save on uh, belts and resources. It's not, it's not a really a big deal. It's just, um, I like it better that way. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't always have to do it. Um. Let's see. Right down here. And we ran out of... Belts. Alright, I think that's it. Now 
Now we don't have to replace the entire length of the belt with uh, red. That should be fine. And uh, I'll do the rest later. Yeah, I think it's going to use up enough iron back here to... Um, not quite half of it, but... Well, we'll do a little bit more. Up to here. There we go. Yeah, but once it gets down to about 15... Once it uses about half of it, then we can switch to yellow and still be fine. Uh, but I'll do all of it. It's better to have the whole thing one, one tier belt, one uh, color, in my opinion. So I'll do all of the copper and iron belts. Look at all those logistics robots. Let's make more. Okay, what are we doing here? Light oil, 18k, heavy oil. Oh, we got a surplus. How do we have... How can I have excess... Lubricant, how is that possible? Where's my car? Okay, I see. Yep, it's a problem with the plates. We're backed up on lubricant because we can't get enough uh, electronic circuits. Yeah, that problem will be uh, alleviated to an extent soon once the plates catch up. Yeah, it looks like they're starting to catch up. I. I just, I am going to need to, yeah, I think we might need more iron being smelted. I thought we wouldn't need that much, but I forgot about the, uh, all of the green circuits. Right now, you can see there are those gaps. So we're getting, we're actually getting maybe one yellow belt worth of iron plates. A little bit more maybe but we we're gonna need more so uh yeah we're gonna take some of the iron off of here and uh add it to this well no if this is red where is it oh the i've got one un unupgraded splitter all right Well, I'm going to end the episode here. We finally got logistics. Uh, I can now make requester chests, and we have automation for that set up. I just got to select the recipe in the assembler, and it'll start assembling. And uh, I'm not going to do any more yellow recipes right now, because yellow science, we got to let that catch up, because it's still pretty slow. Let's do something else. Napalm shells. Ooh. Um. Wide area scanner. A radar that only scans known area, but keeps the entire area visible and frequently updated. Oh, I like that. I'll take it. This Coverex enrichment process is ridiculous. Look at this recipe. 30 uranium, 235, and 300 gun turrets will give us uh, more uranium, 235, and uranium. That's total raw 11,000 iron. That's crazy. I don't think I'll be doing that. I should be able to get enough 235 to just through regular mining to um, feed a nuclear plant. I 
All right. Anyway, we'll we'll try this wide area scanner, and uh, I'm gonna go fix my belt situation. And soon, bots. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.